Welcome problem solving fans to another problem of the day and this one is all about problem solving with fractions and a little bit of area thrown in as well. Now remember anytime we're dealing with fractions of a whole it might be a good strategy used to help us to draw a bar model. So we're going to try that here and see how far we get. So it says a rectangle is cut into two pieces A and B. The area of A is 5 eighths of the area of the rectangle. So what we're saying here is that A is worth 5 eighths. So to get it up to a whole one, B must be worth 3 eighths. The area of A is 28 centimetres greater than the area of B. So in other words, the difference between the area of A and area of B is 28 centimetres squared. Now let's see what happens when we try and put this information into a bar model. So the first thing we're going to do is draw our bar. And because we're dealing with eighths, we will need to have eight pieces in the bar. So split it in half first, then split that into quarters, and then split that into eighths. Now, A is worth five eighths. So across the top here, let's draw an arrow spanning across five eighths. So that's the area of A. And then three eighths is the area of B. Now this is the key here, that because area of A is 28 greater than the area of B, that means the difference is 28. But don't forget that the difference between the two areas is also the difference between 5 eighths and 3 eighths. So the difference between 5 eighths and 3 eighths is 2 eighths. There's a 2 eighths difference. 5 eighths is 2 eighths more than 3 eighths. So the difference is 28 centimetres squared, but it is also the difference between 5 eighths and 3 eighths, which is 2 eighths. So what we're saying is that 28 centimetres squared must be the, worth the same as 2 eighths. Now if 2 eighths is 28 centimetres squared, 1 eighth is half of that. So 1 eighth must be half of 28, and half of 28 is 14 centimetres squared. So 1 eighth is worth 14 centimetres squared. So I could just write that on, 14. 1 eighth is worth 14. But remember, all the eighths are the same size. So all of the eighths are worth 14 too. Now it basically says, what is the area of the rectangle? Well, the simple answer to this would be to do 8 lots of 14. Because there are 8 pieces, all worth 14. 8 times 4 is 32, put the 2 in, carry the 3. 8 times 1 is 8, plus the 3 is 11. So your final answer is 112 centimetres squared. So the final area of the rectangle is 112 centimetres squared. But before we move on, it might be an idea just to double check that this all makes sense by looking at the separate areas too. So B would be 3 lots of 14. So 3 lots of 14 for B is 14 times 3. 3 4s are 12, put the 2 in, carry the 1. 3 1s are 3, plus the 1 is 4. So B would be 42 centimetres squared. 42 centimetres squared. And A would be 5 lots of 14. So 14 times 5. 5 times 4 is 20. Put the 0 in, carry the 2. 5 ones are 5, plus 2 is 7. Seven, 70 centimetres squared. So A is 70 centimetres squared. But it does say that the area of A is 28 centimetres squared greater than the area of B. So the question is, is 70, 28 greater than 42? Well, if you do 42, add on 28, do you get 70? Well, 40 add 20 is 60, and 2 add 8 is an extra 10 that makes the 60 up to 70. So yeah, that seems to fit in as well. So this seems to all fit in with our answer being 112 centimetres squared.